Hey guitar enthusiast, Lauren Bateman here. In this lesson video, we're gonna go over something really cool. It's an alternate tuning. It's called drop D tuning. It has a very cool sound to it. Let's get into the lesson video. Real quick before we get into the lesson, I just want to say thank you to some of my YouTube supporters, um, Joan Milligan, Lawrence Walsh. Thank you guys so much for your donations. Really appreciate you supporting me here on YouTube and on my website. Thanks so much. Let's get into the lesson video. So we're going to talk about drop D tuning. So standard tuning is what we usually tune our guitar to. So we have E, A, um, I forget, D, G, B, and E again. So this is what we would call standard tuning and what we're going to typically tune our guitar to. Now there are what we call alternate tunings and some of them have really unique sounds. And the one we're gonna do in this video is called drop D tuning. And the, it's really, most of it is the same except the top note is going to be tuned down to a D. Now the cool thing is you have a D note here. So you would just tune down. There it is. Hear that, two Ds. Now if you can't do that by ear, I have a built-in tuner here. Um, I'm even just a little hair sharp here. You can check with the tuner, but it's basically you have D on the top. So instead of E on the top, we have D, A, um, D, G, B, E. So what this allows you to do, we're gonna go over chords in a little bit, but what this allows you to do is play a D chord and have this really warm bass note come through on the top. So really, really cool sound. Um, some songs that would use this would be um, like Foo Fighters, Everlong, uh, Dear Prudence by The Beatles, or even um, I think Ohio by Neil Young is another song that uses drop D. It's very, very common, it has a great sound to it. Um, but there's one little caveat. While we can play a lot of our chords the same, some will need to change. So for D chords, so the D and the D minor, you can now strum all six strings instead of just four strings, which is great. Like I said, you get this really rich tone to it now. Our C chord's the same. Any of our five string bar chords, those are the same. Um, and any like A chord, A minor, those are the same. Where things we're gonna have to make some adjustments is on the top string. So for example, this top string is no longer E, right? So we've changed the note by two, one tone or two semitones, so two notes, okay? Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this lesson video so far. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This way, you'll know when I release more cool lesson videos just like this. So let's get into the chords for drop D tuning. So we have to adjust our top string on our chord. So if you were gonna play a G chord, usually you would play a G chord like this, right? If we play the G chord like that in drop D, it's not going to sound good. So the common solution is what we do is we move our first finger down to where our third finger was, and we use our third finger on the top string, and oftentimes we will mute. You could leave, you could leave the fifth string open, but a lot of times we will mute the um, fifth string, but if you want to leave it open, you can. So now we have a G chord, and it actually sounds like a G chord. So we have to make that adjustment because this note here, so when we play a, a normal G chord, this top note is usually G, but it's not G now, now it's F. So we have to make an adjustment so the G now sits here. So this is how you would play a G chord. Very cool. Now, something like E minor, E minor we usually have the open string on the top. So E minor is different, you just put the first finger on the top string. So now that's how you're gonna play an E minor chord. We've had to adjust a couple strings. The E major chord, we're gonna have to use our second, third, and fourth fingers, and we're gonna have our first, so we're gonna use four fingers instead of three. So that will be your E major chord, okay? And if you wanted to do like an E major seven, you'd lift up your pinky. So that's um, another one here. Now, another cool thing with these types, this type of tuning is for power chords. 
makes power chords really simple. So usually when you play power chords, you typically have this shape here where you have the first finger and then the, the third and fourth fingers. Or if you do a bar, you have your other finger here. The great thing about power chords now is you just need one finger. Great, a lot, I mean, you'll see this probably more in an electric guitar in kind of metal music, but a lot of the But it makes playing power chords really easy. So at, at, particularly on this, if you're just using this top string. So that's another drop D's used a lot in kind of like heavy rock music. Um, but those are some of the adjustments that you can make for chords like G or E or E minor, which are pretty popular chords that are going to pop up. So if you were going to play a chord progression, you'd have D. You could have your C. And then if I was going to go to E minor, and then we have our G. And then back to G. You can hear that beautiful sound of that D note on the bass. Another cool thing about drop D tuning for picking is now you're hitting two, two D strings. Sounds super cool. Uh, if you think of a, a song like um, Treetop Flyer, but I think that's in double drop D, but if you hear that, you almost think of treetop flyer uh, but that is a that is a cool song that kind of has that feel and that's that sound to it so play around with this drop d tuning go check out maybe some of those songs that i mentioned earlier make sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel here this way you guys can see when i release new videos just like this youtube's gonna pop up a couple more videos over here go and check those out i hope to see you guys in another lesson video